This time, we will learn how to extract database information to identify vulnerabilities in a website. We will extract the database from a penetration testing website called DVWA. Since DVWA needs to be installed separately on Linux, let's go over the installation and setup process for the DVWA site. First, open the terminal and update the package list to install DVWA by entering the command sudo apt update. Now that the update is complete, let's install DVWA. Enter the command sudo apt install DVUA. Yes? Yeah. Now that the installation is complete, let's start the DVWA server. Enter the command sudo dvwa start to run dvwa. To show the fresh start, I will log out and log back in. You can log in with the username admin and the password password. Next, go to DVWA security and set it to low. DVWA security allows you to adjust the security level to find vulnerabilities on the site. I will set it to low. Next, go to setup, reset DB, and reset the database to ensure a clean setup for the process. Now the setup is complete. You don't have to follow the exact same steps as me, but I used DVWA and lowered the security level to make the process clearer and easier to understand with low security. Once the setup is complete, we will move on to SQL injection. SQL injection is one of the security vulnerabilities in web applications, where a malicious user inserts data provided by the user into the school query of the web application, allowing them to manipulate or attack the database in an abnormal way. This attack exploits security flaws in applications that interact with databases, often occurring when input validation is insufficient or incomplete. Next, I'll extract the cookie value from the site and make a note of it. I'll go to the Network tab and refresh the page. Next, click on the respective domain and navigate to the Cookies tab. Now, all the preparations for security hacking are complete. Let's move on to the next step. This time, the tool we'll use for website hacking is Skullmap. If Skullmap is not installed by default, please follow the instructions shown in the subtitles to install it. I will now run Skullmap. I'll use Skullmap Hush to view the help menu. The HI option is used to display the available options for any command. Since Skullmap has so many options, I recommend studying and reading through them carefully. The reason we retrieve the cookie is that the cookie option in school map is used to send HTTP cookies. To perform a school injection attack on a web application, we may need to provide cookie information to maintain an authenticated session or specific user state. By using this option, we can pass session cookies or other important cookie values to school map for more accurate execution of the attack. We will write the code with the options we need in a text file. Skullmap U is the option used to specify the URL to attack. After that, you simply append the site URL. Let's make sure to include double quotes on both sides of the site URL. the cookie option and also retrieve the site's cookie value to write it in the text file.
Write the PHP session and security values exactly as they are. Once you've completed the writing, copy the content and paste it into the terminal. We will use the All option. This option tells Skullmap to execute all available attack functions and information extraction options. By using this option, Skullmap will attempt to extract as much information as possible. By default, Skullmap tries various methods to find skull injection vulnerabilities and extract related data. The All option runs all these tasks at once. We will use the All option. This option tells Skullmap to execute all available attack functions and information extraction options. By using this option, Skullmap will attempt to extract as much information as possible. By default, Skullmap tries various methods to find skull injection vulnerabilities and extract related data. The All option runs all these tasks at once. Dedevoa, tables is an option used in Schoolmap to extract the list of tables from a specific database. This option is useful after using a DBS to retrieve the list of databases, allowing you to extract additional information about a specific database. Two tables have been found. Let's proceed with collecting the user data. DWAT user columns is an option used in school map to extract the column information of a specific table within a particular database. This command is used to understand the structure of a specific table in the database. Now that the columns and types are listed, let's retrieve the user and password columns. The D, T, C, and dump options in school map are used to extract data from specific databases, tables, and columns. Each option allows you to precisely specify which data to extract through SQL injection. Select the location where you want to create the word list file. You can now see that the output is successfully displayed. Thank you for watching.